The story really starts with my mom. She bought me a new pair of rain boots for Christmas from a company in my hometown of Dallas that gives a free pair of boots to needy roaming children in Eastern Europe for every pair bought in the States. Well, she really liked the connection of buying a pair of boots for her daughter in Eastern Europe, which also benefited children in Eastern Europe. So she wrote this blog post about it, encouraging others to buy their own Roma boots. Well, a few days later, Samuel, the guy who founded Roma Boots and Roma Provisions, actually emailed her to say thank you so much. And, you know, my family is from Romania, which is Moldova's neighbor. And can we get in contact with your daughter? Can we do a Roma Boot drop somewhere in Moldova? And, I mean, seven months later, here I am sitting in this car with Samuel and a dozen other Peace Corps volunteers and tons of children's rain boots and bright reds and blues and yellows. And as we were on our way to Skinwasa, this tiny, tiny village, I, I decided I was going to mentally dedicate one pair of boots. One of those pairs of boots that went to a kid was going to be in honor of my mom who started this process and got me the boots and just was the inspiration behind all of it. But when I got there, I don't know, I started playing with the kids. I mean, we made a, we made a soccer ball out of bags and we brought them frisbees and silly string. And as I met them, there was just no way that I could choose one kid who got boots that day to be the kid. I, I got along with so many of them. So many of them were just adorable and happy and smiley despite living in this extremely poor village in this extremely poor European country. So I, I dedicated the post that I wrote, that I put on my blog, I dedicated that to Petru, a little boy who just would never have gotten his boots unless he reminded me of my little brother, Ben. Uh, Petru and Ben are both very shy and don't like having to talk to people. And so when I recognized that in Petru, I realized he was just never going to get a pair of boots until somebody stepped up for him. So that is the story that I told in my blog. But really, I mean, the whole thing just has to be dedicated to, to my mom. I mean, not one of those pairs of boots going to one of those kids, but all of those boots going to every one of those little Romy kids living in this tiny village of 300 people in Skinwasa, Moldova, in western Moldova, and a village where the only running water is the this filthy spigot that runs over near the school, where the, the roads are dirt and rock, and the minute it starts raining like it is today, it just turns into a river of mud and rocks and filth I mean, every one of those kids that now can walk through those roads safely and without cutting their feet or getting wet or getting filthy so that they can go to work in the fields or on their way to school or visiting their families. Every single one of those kids, every single one of those pairs of boots that they now get to wear, to me, is dedicated to my mother. To my mother and to the other dozen volunteers who, when they heard the story, picked up and dedicated their time and their energy and their sweat and their lunch to go out to this village for an entire day and just sit in the heat and give kids boots and listen to the adults as they tell stories about what life is like in this little corner of this little this little country that we live in. Well, I, later I told my mom, I called her and told her that we had done this. She had no idea that we were, that Samuel was here, that we were on our way to do it. And I remember telling her, isn't it awesome how, how all of this kind of came together? You know, I'm really excited that we got to pull this together. And she, she, kept, she just kept saying, that makes me feel so good. That makes me feel so good. And it made me feel really good, too. It's just one of those moments that, I mean, that's why you join the Peace Corps. You know, you think you're going to go every day and, and do huge things like this. And Really, Peace Corps is a lot more work than that and a lot smaller victories than that. But to, today was a big day. I mean, today we got to go and, and give kids something that they really, really needed and talk to them in their own language and hear what their life was like. And tomorrow they'll, they'll remember us. Maybe, to, you know, right now it's raining. Maybe right now they're all in their village putting on their boots and remembering that people in America care about them enough to enough to buy boots for them and enough to come to their village and bring them to them. That's just kind of a beautiful thing.